Hi, I'm Dr. Tallon. I'm a colon and rectal surgeon. Um, one question I get is uh, a disease that we treat, and that is diverticulitis. Um, <clears throat> diverticulitis, or diverticulosis more properly, is a disease where the colon, the large bowel, gets pockets on the bowel, like weak spots on an inner tube of a bicycle. That condition is called diverticulosis, and almost everybody in the United States and the industrialized world gets diverticulosis by the time they're 80. Most of us start getting it in our 40s, and most times it's asymptomatic. So if you're worried about diverticulitis, there is a certain set of symptoms that you get when you get it. Diverticulosis in and of itself is not a problem. As I said, we almost all, all have it. Um, but when you have diverticulitis, that's when these pop pockets rupture. And rupturing of these pockets cause you to be sick because the abdominal cavity is a sterile cavity. And when the stool comes out of these pockets, it makes you sick with peritonitis. It can be a minor attack where it's a micro perforation and you just need to be on antibiotics, treat it at home, uh, kind of a bland diet, you get over it never need surgery. It can be a more major thing where you get an abscess around the colon. Sometimes you need to be hospitalized for it on IV antibiotics, but you still get over it. And then it can be a major problem where it blows out. You get very, very sick, very septic, very quick. You come into the emergency room, you end up with emergency surgery for it. So there's a whole continuum of symptoms with this disease. There's one more part of diverticulosis, and that's the part where diverticulosis can bleed. Infection with diverticulitis and bleeding with diverticulosis usually don't occur together. Diverticulosis bleeding can be a massive bleeding problem. When you have bleeding from diverticulosis, a blood vessel breaks in one of these things and it bleeds buckets of blood and you end up losing units of blood. Most people end up in the hospital, but the good news is most times it stops on its own, 95% of the time. Most people do not end up with surgery this, and you don't bleed to death from this if you're eventually seen, treated, resuscitated with fluids, sometimes blood. And so that really is the whole condition of diverticulosis and diverticulitis.